Guys, um, coming to you currently from the toilet. Gotta have my morning ritual. <laughs> I honestly feel like I can't poop anywhere outside my own toilet. Otherwise, like I, I have to like clean it a thousand times over and over again. If I'm at a public toilet or anywhere else, I just feel comfortable in my own toilet. <laughs> I'm gonna poop now. <laughs> Give me some space and privacy, okay? Good morning, beautiful early Manhattan. I'm currently now on my way to the hospital. So I live in the top of Manhattan, basically. And my hospital's all the way at the bottom of Manhattan. And so the commute to, with the subway is it's like insanely inconvenient because it's always an hour. And I have to wake up an extra hour early just because of that. So these days I'm getting up at like 5.30 just to get to my 7.30 shift on time. And I'm not a morning person, so my energy is really low, so I need coffee. I get an extra shot, it's a triple shot of latte. Make it iced with oat milk because I can't have dairy. Otherwise, I'll be shitting my brains out at the hospital. <laughs> So I'm currently in a 15 month accelerated nursing program in New York City and I'm in my phase of the program where we call the integration phase where there's no schoolwork or classwork for six weeks and we solely work at the hospital to gain like experience that's it's like we're integrating into the hospital and we follow one nurse around our nurse preceptor for six weeks and we basically follow their entire schedule like the whole three day 12 hour shifts thing and do exactly what they do like give meds and like help the patient boost the patients up in the bed and things like that and i'm not allowed to do anything like alone like I, outside of them so i have to constantly be with them but what's good about this is that once i become a new grad nurse like I won't be completely like unfamiliar to the whole hospital setting. I'll have some sort of an idea of how to operate, I guess, in the hospital setting. Gotta get back to work now. So just as there's a lot to juggle in nursing school, I'm able to stay on top because of today's sponsor, Notion. They are a productivity app that offers productivity tools such as task management, project tracking, taking notes, and bookmarking. And my impression of it so far is that it makes my life 20 times easier. I am typically a sporadic and spontaneous thinker, so I don't have a lot of things organized and compartmentalized in my head. So I need like an outside source to really keep me grounded and clean and organized because if I don't have that, I will miss my exam dates, I will miss note taking, I will miss certain topics on my studying and it just won't be right. So because of Notion, I'm really able to understand what I need to do. And then another cool feature is that I'm able to share the notes I take or the schedules I make with my friends and classmates. So make the collaborating is so much more efficient now. I don't have to rewrite the notes and then send it over to my friends. I could literally just press share and then send the email off to my friend or text message it and it's, they just have to open the app themselves or download Notion and they're able to see it on their own. So that's what makes it so much better. And on top of that, I prefer using Notion over any other productivity tools just because I think it's easy to use. I feel like the learning curves for other apps have been so much longer and I like once I download the app I have to figure out how to use it, how to write down the notes, how to just maneuver my way through the app and it's really time consuming I feel like and really inefficient 
and efficiency is like super important to me. So Notion has allowed me to really just download the app, get to work and be done. I don't have to think back on it. I don't have to wonder, oh, is this how I'm doing it? Or anything like that. It's, it's easy, it's efficient, and it's fast. And guys, honestly, if you are looking for a productivity app that is easy and you wanna be able to study efficiently and stay on top of everything, you need to get Notion. I don't recommend any other app other than this app. It is super easy and I want you to try it and love it as well, just as much as I did. So make sure you check out the link in my bio and guys, it is wonderful. <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm finally at lunch now. I take my lunch around 3.35, 3.45-ish. I just go to like a nearby salad place just cause like I wanna eat healthy these days. I feel like during the week when I'm not working, I am eating out all the time. Cause it's like New York City, I'm like always tempted to go spend money somehow and be broke as shit. <laughs> Salad's like keeping me healthy as I'm working. <laughs> Anyways, the shift today so far has been not busy, not too crazy busy. Nothing crazy has happened, but there's been other days where it's been a lot more hectic where I'm helping the patient use the bathroom on like a like a commode where they sit down and pee, and pee or poop on it. And there was a hole in the bottom and I had to like hold the cup it at one point and the, the pee was just leaking through everything and it was really messy. But I haven't had to do that yet today, so it's been good. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm having fun. I just gave my first ever enema. It's a, it's, it's a very new experience. I've never tried anything like that. Basically, an enema is when um, someone is constipated or can't get their stool, their poop out. You kind of flush with water to help it come out. <laughs> Insert a enema tube into the anus, the butthole, and then you flush water in there to help the poop come out. And um, it's very new. <laughs> I'm still I'm okay. Like I'm not. I don't get nauseous easily, but I'm just in the bathroom, just letting myself process before I go back out. <laughs> We're okay. All right. I'm out of the hospital now, where shift is done. Um, I'll recap more tonight, but right now I'm gonna go hang out with my friend, go meet her at her dorm. I just wanna talk, vent about a lot of things I'm going through in my personal life. It was honestly a solid day at the hospital. I don't really have much complaints. I learned a lot and I <laughs> experienced some things also that, you know, I have to get used to as a nurse. So that was interesting. But like I said, I'll recap more tonight, but I'm gonna grab a yogurt and then head to my friend. Alright, so I'm at the dorm. This is Shar. Hi, Shar. She's a certified dumbass. <laughs> so, the thing that I do whenever I come to her dorm is. I just raid her fridge. Oh my god. Nothing in there today. And my designated snack bag. <laughs> Let's see what's let's see what you have. It's getting it's let's getting see, low. Let's see what you have in store for me today. It's low on stock.
right guys, I am home now. And this is what I come home to. Okay, disclaimer, but this is what my room looks like when I have work. Yeah, so not my proudest work, but you know what? Let's start tonight. Let's just start cleaning little by little. We don't have to do everything together all at once. Let's start with doing the laundry. Plus, these scrubs are dirty now, and so like I need to do laundry anyway, so we'll do laundry real quick. Start little by little. You don't have to make big steps, just baby steps, you know? Watching a video that we recorded. Like, I'm not sure what it would be like. Guys, I totally fell asleep last night. <laughs> I was supposed to recap the day and everything. Spaghetti! <laughs> but I totally fell asleep, so I'm just gonna recap the day now. <laughs> Yesterday is a full day of working at the hospital. Like I said, it's my integration phase where I work the three days, 12 hour shifts in the week. And I think it's a really essential part of the program of my school where they allow us to do this. And it really prepares us, I feel like, so that when we enter as new grad nurses, we're not like completely like blown away by everything that's so unfamiliar to us because we've got to experience all these things, because we got to work with the nurses, because we know what it feels like to inject a heparin shot or like to start an IV line, not like, you know, poke IV into arm, but like, you know, setting up the tubing and like all the um, medications. We Because we learned how to do that, I feel like it'd be an easier time to transition into the role of becoming a registered nurse. And I'm really, I really am grateful for my school that, that allowed us to do that. So. It's a really good learning experience, but as of today specifically, there's nothing too crazy that happened other than the fact that I got to um, use an enema, like I explained earlier. It, was a, it, wasn't, it wasn't like super like, oh my god, this is so gross. It was just more like, wow, I've never done this before, and this is a very new movement that I'm doing. So that was a little bit of a shock, but I got over that fast. I think that's just something I have to get over, just being a nurse. I think I'll see even worse things, or I'll even do a little bit more intense things beyond that. So I got to see dressing changes for that, wound cleanings, chest tubes. I got exposed to a lot of things today. Nothing too crazy, nothing like a rapid or like a code or anything. Although, in the beginning, I was like, 12 hours? That is so freaking long. I think it goes by really fast, to be honest, because like, the morning rush is really fast, like there's a lot of meds to give, you have to round on your patients, you have to talk to providers, talk to the physicians, and then talk to the patients. So the morning rush is pretty intense, and that takes about, I'd say, four or five hours, so that's already half your shift. And after that, you're kind of just like, oh, spaghetti. <laughs> you're kind of just like chilling after that, you know, seeing what else the patients need. Yeah, so that was my day, and you're right, spaghetti. She's being a little bad girl. Why are you being so bad to go? But uh, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, that was my day. Follow me on my 12 hour shift as a student nurse. And thank you so much for watching. Bye, say hi. Say bye, spaghetti.